Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are live above the Brooklyn Folk Festival right now at St. Anne's Church in downtown Brooklyn with Jackson Lynch. Jackson, thanks for doing this, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man, of course. Dude, we appreciate it very much. And uh, congratulations to you because All By My Ownsome is out. (laughs) That was right on time. Mm -hmm. Um, All By My Ownsome. It's out in the world digitally now. It's been out for about... uh, 20 hours so congratulations to you and it's coming out on vinyl uh january 14th on jalopy records so that's actually not true oh no Um, yeah well it's available in hard copy as of today starting today as well wonderful it's been uh crazy times uh with the pressing of records these days so there's been a lot of back and forth but the record release show is december 18th got pushed up Excellent. Well, I'm holding a copy. I'm going to cut to myself so that people can actually see this. That is what that looks like. It is a wonderful product. Thank you for this copy. I have one now in my life and I will listen to it um, immediately. I've been, I've heard um, some of this record on the internet and I'm very much looking forward to hearing you play it live. We're about to hear four songs from the record right now, man. What do you want to do first? All right. Well, um, I'll, I'm going to start with a a cover of a song that I, I had put on there. Uh, This is a Lonnie Johnson song, one of the originators of jazz guitar, a great singer, blues player. Uh, One of my favorites, it's called Tomorrow Night. Here we go. That's right. Let's create some buzz over here. Tomorrow Night. Tonight, tomorrow night, will all the thrill be gone? Tomorrow night, will it be just another memory or just another loveless song that's in my heart to linger on? Well, your lips are so tender Your heart's beating fast Tell me, will you surrender? Or tell me, darling, will it last tomorrow night? Will you be with me when the moon is bright? Will you say the loving things you said tonight? Tomorrow night Will you remember what you said tonight? Tomorrow night Another memory, oh, just another loveless song that's in my heart to linger on. Well, your lips are so tender, your heart's beating fast. Tell me, will you surrender? things you said tonight (laughs) all right 
Jackson, thank you, man. This sounds great in this room. And uh, as I've already shown one time, I'm going to hold this guy up again and uh, also hold up Nora's records. And Nora Brown was just here. Right. And the very tape machine that you recorded your record on as well is pictured on the back of hers. You, of course, make a guest appearance on the many guest appearances on that record. Sure. Can you talk a little bit about the importance of using a machine lovingly restored and taken care of like this one was and how it adds to the vibe and everything that you're doing while you guys yeah, create together? Right, that's right. Um, well, we both, Nora and I both recorded our, our separate records with uh, a man named John Atkinson um, from Bristol. Um, he runs Big Tone Records, um, and he's great. Uh, he's, he, he knows what he's doing with all that old equipment, um, old reel-to-reel tape machines, old microphones. Um, you know, it's hard to work with that, that equipment. I, I mean, I, I don't know the first thing about it, but... He, to, to record, record with him, somebody who really knows that stuff, uh, is a real treat. You know, it's old, but it's good uh, equipment. And personally, like, I like, uh, you know, I like to kind of hear, hear the warmth of that old stuff as opposed to a lot of digital ways of going about it. And so it was really fun to record with him and record with Nora with him as well. Nice. Yeah, dude, it's got to be extra satisfying to be able to turn a knob like and not you, there's no way you're turning that knob with just a finger. You know, it's like a, a handful of a knob. Yeah, it's a crank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And um, the amplifier, the amp that you're playing through right now, did you record the entire record with that or was it just That's a few right. songs? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I recorded this whole record in one day with John. Wow. Um, it was like in the midst of COVID and um <clears throat> jalopy theater and school of music was shut down of course so we were able to get in there and have the space um and yet did it with this old buzzy thing um i think he was maybe able to get rid of the buzz but he had he had more time to you know figure that <laughs> out <laughs> but uh you know I, I i don't mind a little a little uh breaking of the fourth wall and hearing some of the equipment that might not be working its best yeah hey i mean yeah warts and all that's part of the thing like we've done this two thousand plus times and if warts and all were not uh, uh <laughs> part of the deal it'd be boring if it always went the same way you know that's right yeah who knows how it's gonna go from here i don't know <laughs> well i we, do you feel like generating some buzz for uh, for track two right now <laughs> yeah that's right um this next song is um one that i wrote um and uh, yeah, I wrote it. Honestly, I, I already had the, the, the recording date with John Atkinson scheduled. And I was like, oh, damn, I gotta, I gotta write some more songs. So I wrote this one. Uh, it's called High Times. <laughs> Something, a voice yonder beckoning. Please understand, let go of my hand. I mustn't be late, and if my road runs straight, I'll get to where I'm going with no knowing for it. High time. It's not like I've been longing for me to be leaving with no prior warning. The time now is dawning. There's no explanation. I jump out at the next station just like what I've been saying. It's just the kind of feeling that it's high time. Don't 
don't you know I can't stay But if you're going my way Put your shoes on Cause down the road we're going If we hang tough together Through rough and stormy weather Please take my hand Lead me to the new bright land Cause it's high time Excellent. Thank you, Jackson. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. So uh, we got to chat briefly offline about uh, about balancing the the two communities that you're very much a part of. I mean, clearly you're a part of the Jalopy community and the Brooklyn Folk Festival community sure. and the larger folk festival of New York folk folk community of New York in general, um, but also are a member of uh, of that com- of similar community in New Orleans with uh, with your band, the Jenks. Um, what do you, do you feel like, like, do you guys balance, do you feel like now it's time for jank stuff and go down to New Orleans or does like, how does that work in your mind? Do you, do you set aside time for both solo project and janks or is it Absolutely. more, or, more of an organic process where you just kind of intuit which one to, to pay attention to? No, it's, it's, it's not really intuitive. It, you know, it takes, um, I make, I don't know. Um, how do you say that? Um, it's pretty easy, honestly. Um, I, you know, I, I do some solo stuff up here in New York. I'm from here, and I've I've um, been a part of the Jalopy community almost f- from the beginning. Um, I started going around there when I was a teenager. Started working there when I was still in high school. Um, but uh, you know, and then I was part of that for many years. Then I lived in New Orleans for many years, and you know, got into a community down there started my band Jackson and the Janks Uh, and now I'm just back and forth you know I mean there's there's a lot of things to to play and do and um, yeah it's just pretty I mean when when you're when you're part of two great communities of music and and friends um, I definitely like traveling so yeah me too, man. Well, dude, if you uh, have any any ideas about where we can take so this paste studio on the road exists only in this is the paste studio right now. We'll just set it up in Attic different rooms where they'll have us. Yeah, yeah exactly. We did it at <laughs> this studio in Texas a couple weeks ago, and uh, yeah. New Orleans is not a city that we have visited yet, but we would absolutely oh, love to. I mean, the vibrancy of that there's community. Too, there's too many good, great talents and and people to not get down there. Yeah. Well, let us talk about that further offline. I, what, we got to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you feel like doing third off of, uh, all by my, all by my own some, um, well, that's, that's a good thing. Um, uh, I'm going to do this song, um, uh, that is not, I didn't write a good friend of mine, Leonie Evans wrote this song. It's called thanks. Um, I met her in my years living in new Orleans. She's from England. Um, but she was living down there at the same time. She's one of my favorite singers um, and songwriters. Uh, I sang backup vocals when she recorded this song for her record, um, and ever since then I was, just loved it, fell in love with this song. So it's called Thanks. It's about friendship, so I'm happy to be singing a friend's song. <laughs> it is. Thanks. <laughs> Tell them what you're thinking, they already know. And you won't, 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 won't stay the distance from life.
still hear you throughout the years. What a family we've grown, 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 grown from all over. And it feels solid as a stone. Showing me another choice, another way. You wanna thank them, I wanna thank them, you wanna thank them for helping me to live my life day by day. You wanna thank them, I wanna thank them, you wanna thank them for helping me to live my life. Day by day, day by day, day by day, day by day. Yo, Leone, what's up? <laughs> All right, thank you, man. So that's uh, I want to talk about the um, uh, the cover the cover selection. Yeah. Um, I mean that one was was by a friend of yours. There are a number on there. Some of them well known covers, but covers of covers, and you've gone further back into the history of those songs and right. uh, delivered your version of the songs that inspired the covers that other people know. Can you talk a little bit about some of those important artists to you and uh, and the meaning of those songs in particular? Why you chose them? Well, um, yeah. I mean, I I started playing. Really, really started playing music, uh, just loving traditional, traditional music that, you know, a lot of the times you don't really know where, uh, you know, who wrote it, where it originated, you know, that real deep old stuff, you know, the music of just the ancestors of the people of wherever, you know, and that's how I got into it and uh, I developed a good appreciation for that process, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, well, well, I was, I was playing music professionally or like playing out or whatever for many, many years before really starting to write my own songs. So felt only, I mean, it wasn't even a choice. It just so happened that like half of the stuff on the record were like traditional gospel songs that come from deep back, who knows where the ether, um, of, you know humans playing songs um and then um you know uh, you know and then just being a huge appreciator of my peers and contemporaries um and just, just playing what you like and that's the point you know yeah and hopefully people like it you know? yeah that was the the main takeaway we did one of the we did a, a chat with billy gibbons which is one of the i mean it's one of the most fun days possible and that was the main takeaway just play, learn to play what you like and that's that is the bottom line play what you like and maybe other people it's like the only it, maybe way they you're don't. gonna play the best yeah is yeah if you're playing what you like you know right yeah, well, it's always it's fun for me to ask that question and to uh, to get a new um, uh, list of artists to listen to. I mean, Lonnie Johnson, Josh White, those are new names to me, right. and I know that that's what we're and about. Leone to... Evans, that's right. New yeah, name to everybody exactly. right now. <laughs> and what do you feel like? Speaking of this wonderful segue that we have just lined up, what do you feel like doing forth today? Well, I'm gonna play an old gospel song that I'm. I play it like. Uh, the great guitar player and singer Josh White. Um, that's how I learned this song, but I'm quite sure this old gospel hymnal kind of thing um, goes well farther past into the future, or into the hist into history uh, beyond Josh White. But here it is. It's called "In My Time of Dying." <laughs> All right. 
right, here we go. Jesus gonna make up my dying bed Gone on down to the river Sick my sword up in the sand Gonna shout my troubles are over I done made it to the promised land Well, well, well I've done cost over Well, well, well Well, well, well I've done crossed over, Jesus gonna make up my dying bed. Jesus, well, 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 I can ring up my Jesus, Jesus gonna make up my dying bed, going on down to the river, sit my soul up in the sand, gonna shout my troubles are over, I done made it to the promised land, well, 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 I've done crossed over, well, well, well. Well, 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 I've done crossed over. Jesus gonna make up my dying bed. Excellent. Jackson, thank you so much for doing this and have a wonderful show tomorrow night. And congratulations on um, All By My Ownsome. It's out in the world. It exists in my hand right now. So thank you, man. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. It's so nice to be here. Yeah, man. For us, too, we'll be here tomorrow night. We'll see you. We'll see you at uh, St. Anne's at your show. All right. All right, man. See you next time. Have a good one. That is.